Despite all that's happening in the world, Cal Poly Pomona's beautiful animals are still being taken care of by employees and a select few live-in students. They are being so well taken care of that the animals wouldn't even know that there's a world pandemic going on, especially all of the baby animals born during this season of COVID. Um, so at the moment, we actually have had three litters of piglets born uh, during the COVID um, pandemic here. We have also had several sheep and goats born, so we do still have them here on campus with us. Um, so we had three barn kittens that we just got about, I'd say about a month. So we have this one and two other around here, um, but we keep them as barn cats, so they kind of help with mice and rat problems. Um, that way they don't get into our cattle feed and all that. And they've kind of just roaming free and then in and out of the barn. Yeah. So with COVID and the classes um, being held online, um, we actually don't have any of the labs coming down here anymore. There are only a select few labs that are allowed to meet in person. I'm in charge of making sure that all of the feedings happen when they're supposed to, making sure that we're breeding the animals um, so that we have the babies and stuff for classes. Um, our animals are used in a lot of our labs as far as uh, learning how to do basic medical procedures and or just basic animal handling and restraint. It hasn't really been too different. Um, for the most part, it's been pretty much the same for us. Uh, we still got to be out here feeding, taking care of the cattle. We're still here pretty much every day. So when it comes to the daily operations, there isn't much that's changed for us. So duties consist of just daily care um, of the facilities and of the cattle, for, obviously. Um, just feeding, um, daily checks, checking pastures, mm -hmm. kind of just everything for the day to day. Along with the swine, sheep, and cattle, the Polypos also interviewed Executive Director of the WK Kellogg Arabian Horse Center, John Lambert, to see how Cal Poly Pomona's world-famous horses are doing. Lambert said that his role as Executive Director consists of many things, but is glad to have student live-ins such as Madeline Ogburn, who help train, feed, clean, and nurture the horses. Lambert has been the executive director of the W.K. Kellogg Arabian Horse Center for over a year and was excited to share with the CPP community that the horses are for everyone to see and admire. However, COVID has slowed this process down and now there is little to no access to the horses. With not many changes to the day-to-day -day life of the Cal Poly Pomona animal, the staff and students are the ones who feel the difference of not having people on campus. The animals and humans alike are patiently waiting for students and faculty to come back to campus when it is safe to do so. This has been Kathy Myers, Polypost.